Yum, yum. There is nothing wrong with your television set. Do not attempt to adjust the picture. Hello, Pascal here. I'm going to show you a little trick that's very useful when you need to composite an animation and then you have only, as a background, you have a still image and a simple object without any fancy passes and uh, things like that. So as you can see, if I move this saucer around, it sort of blends in the background behind takes in the, the colors of the the image behind. So I'm going to show you how to do that, and it's very simple. It's a trick, I like tricks. So first thing we have to do is to create a new composition. So 1280 by 720 at 24 frames per second. And 10 seconds is fine. OK, so I'll close this one. First thing I need to do is bring my image I chose this one because it has several color areas yellow gray green blue makes the demonstration more visible second thing is I have this flying saucer which is a simple 3d render really nothing fancy I keep it bigger so you can see the effects. First thing we need to do is duplicate those two layers and pre-comb them. And we call this blend blend background. Here we go. So we open blend background. And we're going to take this comp and put it to the side here. So we have both composition available. The reason we're doing that is that I want, I need, the, I need this saucer in this image to follow this saucer in this composition. So press Alt, create an expression, and we're going to parent position to the first comp and then we'll close it go back here and I'm going to use the alpha for the from the saucer as a mat for the sky then I take the background and I'm going to add a blur I'm just gonna go quite big with it like something like this then I'm gonna duplicate the UFO and pre-compose the other two layers pre-comp uh, UFO whatever and this one we're going to use a fill first. Should be visible, it's better. So white. And we're going to add a layer style. Layer style. We'll do inner shadow. So for this so we can see better in the parameters in the settings we can use opacity 100 for now distance 0 angle 0 and the size we can make it like this then we're going to use that as a mat so we'll do Luma inverted because we want the black to show. And see, this is what we have now. And then if we go back to the original composition, this is our new, 
this is our new blending layer, you can see the effect already. I'm going to change the fusion mode to overlay. So now, when you move the, I'm going to lock this to so that if you move the uh, saucer, it follows. See, you get a nice little touch of color in the of the environment. It really helps blending in. So one thing I always do is when I compose two images is I lower the opacity like to 95 or something just to blend the pixels a little bit, it's too much. 98. Another thing you can do is if you do the render yourself, you can export a specular pass. For instance, I have it here and use that to either complete or replace the mask we made here. So for instance, I can replace this image with it, and then we turn off the fill, Let's see, and uh, either disable the layer style or not, it's up to you. And then we can add some levels to bring up the it's just something to play with afterwards. But you can see now that you have even more control of the reflections. Let's make it a little more obvious. See what's very nice is that you, you get some movement in reflections that can uh, real life. And of course, there's a lot you can do to enhance the integration, add some foreground, some haze, depth of field, but it's a good start and it's a good trick to know. All right, have fun with it. Bye.